Good morning, y'all. How's it going? Patrick, you skate, uh, skate through okay last night? We had no issues here. No issues here this morning. No issues at all. Weather-wise, it fizzled out completely. So it is a good morning. No hair? Oh, there's hair. It's just getting long, so I didn't feel like dealing with it today. Cal, 23 months of sub in. My alert box is off. Let's go. Let's go. So we have hair. It's just covered up right now. You want to see it? It's it's there. Still have the hair. It just needs a haircut, and I didn't feel like dealing with it today. So this is my move when I uh, when I don't feel like getting vertical with it. <clears throat> Get a couple possible tornadoes coming. Nothing hit. Good. Karen Bar, 22 months of sub, and thank you so much. More importantly, I got my Knox shipping notice yesterday. Absolutely, you were one of the ones to go out yesterday. I shouldn't have taken off my hat because now it's gonna bug me. Uh, Tony, how was the how was the shot? How you feeling? <clears throat> nice lid, thank you. It's my good buddy over at Mitchell Batco, Jeremy Mitchell. Weather on its way to us in Charlotte. Hopefully, it won't be bad. We really we got nothing, like a little rain. And we were supposed to be like in the center cut of like whatever the, the level five tornado watch thing was. So we, we did good. So the kids pretty much school is canceled today. They're schooling from home, but all their teachers weren't coming in until this afternoon anyway. So um, they, they just have like whatever assignments they have online. So uh, Andrew, got your icon. How is it? Hope you're liking it. Hope you found a nib. Uh, woke up at 4.30 with uncontrollable shivering. That's crazy. Yeah, that second round is is the rough one. So hang in there. Hopefully uh, by tonight, tomorrow, you'll be good to go. Morning rewizzles. Four deliveries of ink due this week. What did, inks did you get? Sorry, 10 o'clock is always a great time for like every alert on my phone to go off. Put a snack nib in it, one converter already burned. <laughs> like I remember the inks. Well, we're going to do inks today. Um, I got my um, original Bung Box inks we're going we're gonna to mess around with today. Maybe give some away. Why aren't my alerts making noise? Genie, thank you for the sub. I don't understand this. Like, it is literally on right now. Brad, at this point, would you anticipate having icons in stock around May 1st? Before that, nibs are already on their way to me. Nibs are hitting the uh, the things we want, uh, the time frames we want. So I apologize. I don't know why my alerts aren't making noise. I don't know. It's all set today, but it's not working. So what else? We'll be okay. It is the weather's fault. It is the weather's fault. I never sub to people. Well, I feel like super special. Thank you. Thank you, Jeannie. I do. I feel good about that. Thank you. How's the icon compare and link to an Optima? That's a really good question because it might be longer. I'll get back to you on that. I don't have it today. But they, I don't know if you can look up the Optima, but the icon's exactly like five inches capped. Did the initial batch of icons all go out? Yes. So we're all caught up. All nibs, all available nibs are out. If you didn't get a shipping notification, you're in round two. So, sorry. We are, but that, like I said, the good news is the nibs are meeting our time frame that we wanted. Today should be Masubi Day. I'm going to have Masubi Day on Monday. I've got some, um, I don't know, what's it called? Cloud Nothings. That's a band. What's it called? Cosmo Airlight. I'm going to call it the Cloud Nothings. Got my Spoke and Masubi order yesterday. Love it. Masubi Monday. Nice. I might have one to give away, too, a Masubi on, on the blog. Um, one of the Cosmo Airlight, uh, one of the new Cosmo Airlights. So I've been talking to Daryl about that. So we'll see. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, so if you got the fountain pen now or got a notification, I'm caught up. As of yesterday, the last batch, uh, I had some medium nibs left. Pre-ordered the Habanero. That's a cool pen. So y'all heard my, um, I don't know if you listen to the podcast, a giveaway, a kimono. No. Um, if y'all heard the podcast yesterday, I gave my thoughts on the Habanero. 
super positive. It's great, right? Like that's everything that we've been asking for out of Sailor North America. So I have no complaints other than the price. So, so yeah, there you go. I did, uh, Mike did enjoy the fact that y'all were really upset about the, uh, about the, there's, look, alerts. Get composted 16 months of sub and I didn't change a setting. Um, weird lighting today. Going from light to dark outside. We're just gonna have to deal with it today. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess around with it because it keeps getting darker. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do, um, you are supposed to get your Axel and Icon yesterday. UPS, USPS goofed it up. Oof. Good morning, Brad. Over a year later, I got my Panada La Granda Bellaza Honeycomb Fountain Pen. It still beats the Hippo Noto. Ordered some Galen leather and some ink. That's a good move. You are on it, Genie. So yeah, luckily you won't have to stare at my 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 mug much today once I cut over to the to the ink cam. Um, I'll show you all the staples stuff. I'm not going to open it yet because I, I haven't taken pictures of it yet, but I'm going to show you all the staple stuff that I finally talked to them. It's kind of impressive, at least from the ex, from an exterior perspective. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff. So I'm a newbie at swapping out nib sections. Any video you recommend to learn how to do this for my spoke icon, it's you don't even need it. You just twist it. Like, just twist it. It's super easy. But uh, I'm sure there's like a, a Goulet Pins 101 on disassembling a pen, but the sections are literally the nib twists out, the section twists out. Now the spoke is is different in that you have to have, if you want to change the barrel sleeve, you have to have a tool to reach in there and get it out. Um, but I'll never forget one of my favorite posts on the Pen Addict was when I learned that the Kaveco Sport nibs, you just twisted them out to get them out. That was like the my entire post. It came back fixed. I'm so happy. That's good. I could do a video on it right now. So Staples is doing a, I don't want to call it a relaunch. Naughty Zoot, two gift subs. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all y'all subbing and all y'all's gifting. It is amazing. This relieves so much stress. I love that I can twist it out. Yeah, I gotta find, if someone's bored and wants to find that link, it's an old post on the Pen Addict. And uh, I think it's like how to change a Kaveco nib. And like the, the the text of the post is just twist, just twist it out. And like that's the entire post. So I enjoyed that. So don't forget that I too, Podcast Planner, was in the exact same boat as you are. That's just how it goes. So yeah, there's there's the post. Like I literally had no idea how to change the nib on a Kaveco AL Sport. Unscrew it. It's like I just don't know. It's just one of those things. 2020, 2012, almost nine years ago, I learned that. We are, we're all learning this. It's crazy. Oh, shout out. Speaking of uh, pen attic post, newer post, Andrew, your very own NDRWCN here in the chat wrote a big nib post uh, that was excellent on uh, Wednesday. I published Wednesday, so thank you for him. I still owe you something for that, Andrew. I have not forgotten. Uh, have not forgotten, but uh, did a great job explaining um, his love for big nibs and. The coolest thing that I got from it is that you can have a big nib, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a wide tip nib, right? Like Andrew at one point was talking about Pelican M1000 nibs, which I don't like um, in general, but what if you got it ground to like a needle, right? Or like it's even finer than their extra fine, Pelican's extra fine. Um, like that's a very interesting proposition to me, right? Like the size of the nib doesn't necessarily have to cor correlate to the size of the line. It's still unusable as a needle. I would probably never do that for that nib, but I would do like, I don't know, some other pen. Ski three, 
downloaded Twitch just to listen to the pin and getting my hacksaw today. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Awesome. Dan Don has several that I tried. The Dan Don has several is all I need to know. Right? You can send me an M1000 extra fine to play with. Please do not. Pelican 1000 extra fine is a medium. I think you're being generous. I think you're being generous. I want more icon pins. <laughs> That's kind of the thing that we did. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the Staples thing. So let me get all this stuff. It's like a, they're going, uh, Staples is going heavy into the note taking space and not calling it journaling, not calling it whatever you want, but they're trying to like really push cute unicorns nine. Hello. Good morning. Um, they're trying to push Rewiz, Thanks for the bits. The actual note taking and you know, Staples has a lot is a big business environment. Kate, has anyone else have accidentally given themselves a tattoo when changing nibs? I think I have a red dot on one of my fingers. I've stabbed myself like under the skin in weird places. Mickey, 12 months of subbing. Let's go. Man, the sun's going to come out and ruin my lighting today. So you're forewarned. Rocket Chica, two months of subbing. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We got a level three hype train already this morning. So yeah, I've stabbed myself um, more with like gel pens than, than fountain pens. Um, I would be worried if I stabbed myself with some of my needle points though. Um, so yeah, this is what they're doing. So there's this giant mastery journal. And so like I said, oh, Inception. All right. They were gonna, they're going to go, like, some of this is business planning, right? So, you know, they obviously have a big office supply um, section, and they send things out. Like, they have business contracts and things like that. I don't have prices yet, but they're inexpensive. So I'll get to the one that I know the price on. Um, and then they have the starter journal. Like I said, I haven't opened these yet because I need to take some pictures before I do it. But they have... I don't know, it's like a pin loop on the outside. Um, you can kind of see the format in here. It's kind of got that meeting format, right? Where the pages are kind of split. So like schedule part over here, writing notes part over here. Um, like, and those those to-do lists, like some of those task lists are like removable. Front cover pocket, peel off sticker. Um, yeah, this is the this is the medium size one. So this is the, this is the large size one. I haven't opened it yet. And then we have the A5-ish size one, which I think is going to crush. This is the one, the Explore Journal. So this is more your traditional journal style. Like we would talk about a journal size. This is the one. Um, so um, this one is dot grid, uh, 192 pages. And um, yeah, so they're like going in on the uh, note-taking aspects of journaling. And I'm going to talk to them some more about this and once I get to review the products. And they have like little cards that like give you tips on like how to take notes and things like that. So yeah, like there's this whole collection of stuff. I didn't mean to match it so well today, but I did. I did a good job there. So I'm anxious to get these open because they look nice. So, oh, so whoever was asking me about the prices, like this one is going to be under $20. So it's definitely A5-ish because it feels, it looks narrow. They don't have the dimensions out here, but it looks narrow, narrower. Oh, it's exactly five by eight, so it's smaller on both sides. Does it come in blank? I'm not sure. So it's exactly five by eight, so it's what, a quarter short on one side, 0.3 on the other? Is that how, it, no, it's 0.8 on the width, which is where I feel it, and 0.3 on the height. So there you go. Good morning, it's Mar. So yeah, look like there's that. Um, the huge pen pouch, I don't think is for sale. I don't know, maybe it's gonna be a sale item. It's like a big bank bag. Um, and there's some new pens in it. I'm also gonna wait to open these up yet. Oh, that's my notes from my meeting. <laughs> so then there's a rollerball pen and a uh, gel pens, like quick dry gel pens. They look like the uh, paper made ink joys. So we'll test these pens out and then the rollerballs. So I'll be testing those out soon and then we'll see if we do some advertising bits with them later on down the line. They seem interested, you know, they also 
want to know what's in it for them, right? As you, the bigger the company you work with, the more they're, the more they want to like, what are the numbers we need to justify this? Then I was like, you know, I only charge like three hundred dollars, right? They're like, oh, okay, yeah, not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> like once I showed them the prices, they're like, oh yeah, okay, cool. I became a pen addict on Christmas 2020. I just recently found your channel and followed it and haven't caught a stream till now. Yay! You picked a good stream. We're gonna do some ink sampling today. Rip. Did you say what the weight of the paper is? I don't know if it says. Clever and charming, thank you for the follow. I don't have an answer for the weight of the paper, but I will tell you this. All True Red products are regularly tested to meet the strictest performance objectives and have been designed based on decades of in-office expertise. So that means there's no way they're fountain pen friendly. Just kidding. All right, I am, now that the, the lighting has changed, I am gonna shut this window real quick. Two seconds, be right back. It may not make it perfect, but it'll hopefully be better. That means 20 pound bond paper, right? Um, let me see. Brad, do you want ink samples? I've sent Mike some, I sent you as well. No, I, no offense, I do not want ink samples. I just have too many um, to even go through. So I'm seeing if there is. It just says premium heavyweight paper, so it's at least 32 pound copy paper. But there is no weight measurement on the paper. <laughs> Thank you, Jeannie. Well, welcome, Mar. We're, we are glad to have you. And, um, you know, if we can help you in any way, definitely let us know. We're glad to help. Great pen, wrong nib. Food A nib. For a first pen, a food A nib has to blow your mind. Did you share the staples box yet? Yeah, I'll show you real quick because I haven't opened it yet so I can just flip through them real quick. They're going big into like the note-taking aspects of office work. So this journal, this is like your journal journal. This is like your work journal. It's got like to-do lists and meeting notes and stuff like that. The mastery journal I haven't figured out yet but it's like a big folio type type deal. So still working on working through this stuff but I needed to take some pictures. Brad, I'm gonna start emailing me. You You can always email me. I always read all your emails and I always respond to your emails. It just not may not be for like days. <laughs> so I'm happy for you to email me anytime. Evan Max is here, let's have a raffle. He's not the Evan that wins them all, it's Evan L93, it's the one that wins them. We're gonna have a good raffle today. If you couldn't tell by the um, stream title today, and the habit I've been in of streaming the thing and then ended up giving the thing, you're probably gonna wanna stick around today if you're into the things that are in the stream title today. So just saying. <laughs> Monsieur Pinadit, I, I'm good with Monsieur Pinadit. You can just call me Brad. So do you still call it days when it's up to 200? What does that mean? Did I miss something? I don't know what that means. Did I say something? Dave has me flummoxed. The sunlight has me flummoxed, y'all. Giveaway, giveaway, giveaway. Here's a teaser. I'm not giving all this stuff away, but if you knew what I was, if you know what I'm ink swabbing today, you know something's coming. So we'll get into this in a minute. This is the legit OG vase bottle bungu box ink that I have that you cannot get anymore. You can get the ink colors, but not the uh, not the bottles and the ink colors. So we're gonna swab those up. 4B, I assure you I will not be giving away. It might be my number one ink of all time. If not, it's probably up there. And this is when they had the great artwork and, and all this stuff, so. Um, Oh, look, Mar followed me on Twitter, too. I have a side screen up over here. <laughs> nice. Nice. 
Um, what else do we need to cover? Anything else we need to cover before we get into the uh, into the ink swabbing, sampling? Um, fun podcast yesterday. Thank y'all for uh, listening to me and Mike talk about all of our stuff. Um, you know, we try to meter that on. Uh, in some regards, but then when there's product launches, we're excited to talk about it and share it with y'all. So I appreciate that. Uh, y'all allowing us to do that and, and have fun. Um, it was a, it was a good show yesterday, I must say. So there you go. Parker Quink blue black looking for another bottle of that, but I'm still looking for another work horse to use alongside of it. You're in the right place for blue black inks. That is my forte. Woof, you're awesome. You're my new favorite follower. <laughs> um, if you want the short answer for like a, a good low cost blue black ink, you either get Pilot Blue Black or Lamy Blue Black. Both of those are better than Parker Quink Blue Black, in my opinion. And they're both like $10 or they're very inexpensive. So you can get them cheaply. Um, all right, should I set up to do some inks? Let's see what we got here. Uh, I'm going to get some paper goods. Now that I have a lighter color desktop background, I don't know that I have to use the full folio pad. So I just pulled a sheet. We'll see how this goes. So I just pulled the sheet. We got shadows everywhere. everywhere. We'll work on this. <laughs> Colin, yeah. <laughs> Don't torture them, Alan. Colin Neon Inks is not the play. All right. So, Tangerine. Do they make Tangerine anymore in their new versions? Sapphire, which is the famed uh, Parker Blue Black. Uh, Parker Blue Black, Parker Penman Sapphire. Um, I have Mike sent me uh, uh, Ink Dependence. Mike sent me a way to modify these cameras to do the focus better, but I haven't done it yet. It, it, it requires some uh, disassembly of the camera. is just not gonna pick these up and then we have a uh, silent night which is I wouldn't I don't know if I'd call this a blue black but it's a dark blue they have not released fresh oranges in the new bottles thank you uh, but 4b they have right that's 4b 4b's in the new bottles is sapphire in the new bottles are any of these in the new bottles besides 4b I don't pay that attention that much attention. Yes, bung box. Four B, you can't have this one. This is mine. So let's uh, we'll go in that order. Let's get tangerine first. So what's so special about these? Um, the bottle mostly. <laughs> Some of the inks are close to other bottle other other colors but some aren't um but yeah these bottles are like super cool and very unique artwork on on them it's like hand drawn and then like laser printed on here so the labels are great all right so this is tangerine yeah so the bung box ink availability has always been a challenge when these came out you had to get them um from bung box when did these come out it's been probably five years or more maybe six years and um i might have got these at the dc pin show i'm thinking from them um one year they went to the dc pin show and um I bought these. Yeah, 2015, 2016. Yeah, I got them. Whatever year, the first year they went to the DC Pen Show. I want to say 2016. So I've had these since then. So let's uh, 
let's see what we got here. So we have Tomoe River, Rhodia, and we have the um, coloring paper in the coloring um, folio pad. You got mine from got mine from Mass Drop. Some of these I haven't used in a while, like tangerine. It's a really good, good orangey color. Man, I need to work on this camera. That is gonna drive me berserk. I like these bottles, they're pretty stable. So tangerine is more of like the skin of the orange type of color as opposed to like the fruit of the orange type color, fruit of the tangerine. It goes down a little dark, it dries a little bit lighter. Oh man. If y'all want to put up uh, spelling, I don't know how to spell tangerine. Did I get it right? I would probably like, uh, I would lose a lot of bets on tangerine. Did I get it? I don't know if I got it or not. So this is Rhodia. It looks darker. I think on this camera than it does when you're writing with the nib. It's a pretty good, oh, I just spelled it wrong. Y'all better put up some bets. Look what I've done already. Brad Tangerine. See, I can't cheat on these because the, um, the spelling isn't on the boxes. But like I said, this is more of a skin of the orange. Brad Boxy, yeah, that's a different channel. Um, this is a little bit deeper orange, but a good solid, good solid orange. And this is uh, Tomoe River Paper. It looks lighter on here. This is the most accurate, at least from my eyes. You can see it even in the camera, how much lighter this is than these two. This is what I'm used to seeing out of this orange, mostly. Has anyone confirmed if I spelled uh, tangerine right? Apricot is very different from this, right, Phil? Like, apricot is very, very yellow and very light. This has no yellow in it, really. Like, it looks like it here. Like, it looks like there might be some yellow just in that color. But even when you get it on the Tomoe River paper, like, this is just like a, a good solid orange. That doesn't. It's not, like, crazy bright. Tangerine is correct. Thank you. Um, I do feel when I'm using it, this in a pen and a nib, this is more what I'm used to um, on the Tomoe River, which we've seen when I've done these ink samples before, that sometimes, you know, the, the coloring papers more representative, sometimes the Rhodia papers more representative, and sometimes the Tomoe River papers more representative. It just really depends. I feel like in this case, the Tomoe River is the most representative. You can, even through the camera and whatever weird lighting and computer screen you have going, you can tell it's lighter because um, I can see it on the screen. You know, it's like dark, a little bit lighter, much lighter. This is the most accurate. Herbin glass dip pens are so good. This is my only one, so uh, I'm enjoying it. Look at that. I screwed that up and my phone beeped. Why is my phone beeping? I don't have anything scheduled this morning. Oh, my wife's dentist appointment is scheduled this morning. Cool. <clears throat> so, always wanted to get a glass pen. Would anyone have a trusted glass dip pen? I'm pretty clueless about it too. It's taken me years to get this one. I don't know that I'd recommend this one necessarily, other than it's great, but it's very expensive. Brad Jareen, that's pretty funny. 
right? This was more expensive than I thought it was gonna be. It's around $30, $35. You can get the Jay Herbon ones for cheaper. I think they're more in the 20 something dollar ranges. So yeah, there you go. I've been on a pale ink kink kick lately. Tomo, Tomo and Limbs Lucifer. I haven't seen that one. So that's your tangerine in its fancy base bottle. So you can tell I haven't used that much. All of these I've used before. So when I decide to give one away, know that it's been used because I will give one of these away. Let's let these dry for a second. I wonder if ceramic dip pens would work. My wife is doing a lot of that right now. I, I wouldn't want to try. I wouldn't want to dip. I don't know that I'd want to dip that even glazed into an ink bottle. I don't know. I'd have to think about that. That would scare me a little bit. Even glazed. Whoa, where'd that come from? John. I literally just saw this. Where did this come from? Do y'all ever do that? Like random ink spots somewhere? That's gonna bug me now. I don't think I set the pin down there. Maybe I set the pin down. That's probably what I did. That sucks. All right, let's do uh, Sapphire next. Random ink splots most of my desk, desk surface. Yeah, I'm usually super particular about that kind of stuff. That's why it trips me out. All right. Um, despite my preference for 4B, Sapphire is considered the goat ink. Okay. It must be on the bottle. Let me get that bottle back out. Because that wasn't on my hands when I was looking at the spot, and then I put away the bottle. So I must have gotten something on the outside. Let's see here. Yeah, I got something on the outside of the bottle is what it was. And I put it on my, got on my fingers and I set my fingers down. So let me clean that up a little bit. Yeah, so for all the love I give to 4B, Sapphire is the ink that people go for in bung box um, just because of the richness of the color. It's pretty impressive. All right, that should get it. So that was my fault. I had something on the outside of the bottle, but no more. At least we have discovered the culprit. Although now I need another paper towel. All right, back to Sapphire. Yeah, so this is the Sapphire bottle. This is what a lot of people consider the closest to Parker Penman Sapphire. This is actually why this ink was made. Um, they made it to match the old Parker Penman Sapphire. I don't know that it has the sheening that the Parker Penman Sapphire does, but um, I just love these bottles, these designs that you can't see at all on the camera so yeah really great i love sapphire i don't like sapphire's dry time i haven't totally noticed that although i haven't been using it in a while in the right wet pen it's pretty sheeny have you ever looked into scribe inks i have not i think i've heard of them but i've never looked into them so they were trying to match the pps is there a genie in that bottle there might be So there's that. You know what I think I did on that tangerine bottle is like I tapped my nib and it dripped over and then that's how I got it in places it shouldn't go. All right. Oops. So this is 
bring the camera here. This is just a rich, rich, bright blue. Oh man, sapphire. I don't know how to spell sapphire either. Two Ps, I think. So yeah, um, that really doesn't show on camera. We'll see what the Tomoe River looks like. Let's stick my arm in that. But I use this a lot, like in my Pilot um, 823. Because that has a fine cursive italic nib and the color really shows off there. Sapphire. We'll see how these these dry up. They all look pretty dark on, on here. Um, I'd say in person in writing, especially with my finer nibs, it's a shade or two lighter than you know these large. You know you get you get a lot of ink on the page when you're using a dip nib, so it's not always exactly representative of what you're going to get. Um, you know when you're doing it yourself. Mm. <laughs> Has Brad misspelled anything yet? Yeah. <laughs> we did, the bets were y'all didn't have any active bets though. Y'all were sleeping today. We must not have uh, Thor in here. So my wrist is hurting more than normal today. Is that like the weather thing? Why does the weather make your joints hurt? That hurt. Like I was telling my wife this morning. Man, my wrist is killing me. I was like, oh, it's the barometric pressure. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, it's a little bit lighter than this even on Tomoe River. It means you're a witch. <laughs> that was... uh held for hostility dave it gives you an alert like when it holds the uh when it holds the words it tells you why there's hostility <laughs> hostility so yeah there's bundlebox sapphire so you this it's really this um this lighter color you see in the middle of this so influencer hands whoa i just touched it i think let's see did i barely i'm making a mess this morning that's okay so, again, super hard to see. Um, these colors are coming out pretty well, I'd say. More representative, the um, color ring paper. Let me see what we got here. That's a good shade. So that's, that's more what this color is. It's like a very saturated blue. And then this is much darker. Wow, we broke the camera on that one. Cool. Whatever, I think it looks worse on that one. <clears throat> it is still, who was, who was talking about the dry time on this? Um, we're still not dry on this sample here. And it looks like this one up here, the tangerine on the coloring paper still wet. And then the sapphire 
on the Tomoe River still wet. So there you go. Have y'all considered Discord for the community? Yes, uh, we have a Slack, um, which we would love to have you be a part of. So we use Slack for that right now. You just have to email me, hello at penaddict.com, and I will send you an invite, but I would be glad to. Slack, yeah, it's another type of um, um, community tool. It's really made for like workplace team communication, but uh, we were on Slack before Discord became popular. Um, maybe we move to Discord one day, maybe we don't, but... Um, I wish... If Discord would get th threading, yeah, that would make it at least more compelling. That's the biggest issue. Tomahu River might be dry by the end of the stream. I don't know what happened to the white balance here, but it is, it is popping now. Not being able to see old messages on free Slack is uncool. Yeah, just scroll up in the chat like five, five uh, threads above you. All right, let's do Silent Night. Yeah, so this is the Silent Night box. I think this is my favorite artwork. I don't know, the, I don't know, they're all good. Because it's got the little bung box store on there. And then it's got the little snowflakes. And then it has a big, big shooting star on the top. These are, uh, I just love these labels. They did at least keep some of the labels when they switched over to the new bottles, the shoe bottles. If you have a spare 20K a month, is that all it is now? Just 20K? So this is a deep dark blue. But we'll see how different it is from Sailor Blue Black. Yeah, I wouldn't mind going over to Discord. I just think the features are still better for what we use it for, for Slack right now. Although there's a, um, I, I do like the Discord integrations, but there were lots of cons for how we use Slack if we tried to go to Discord. So this is probably gonna look black on y'all screens, I'm guessing because it's really, really dark. Oh man, that looks really black. It looks straight up black on y'all's uh, y'all screen. It's a very inky day. I got ink all over myself. That's the one thing that doesn't bother me anymore, though. Did anyone else, when they started with fountain pens, hate like if they got a drop of ink on their skin or something like that? And now I don't care if my hands are covered. Because I know tomorrow it'll be gone. Wow, this one seems really wet compared to even Sapphire. I know I'm putting down a lot of ink, but... I don't know when this is gonna dry. I'm starting to see the sheen on the Tomoe River paper for the sapphire. It's looking really good. Look at the ink on this. Why is this so much ink? This is very different than the other two. like a flood of ink. Someone who just bought my first few fountain pens ink on my skin has never, never bothered me. Good. Not until I bought red ink. Yeah, I get that. But yet yeah, nib creep was the main thing that used to bug me. And then... Um, 
and then ink on the hands. And now I just don't even care. I don't know if we'll be able to see this sheen. You see why Sapphire is so cool? You can see that character now in the ink once it's dried. So the Sapphire has how this all this little subtle sheen and color change. That's why Sapphire is so popular. Also still not dry. <laughs> I like how Nib Creep looks. Yeah, I kind of like seeing the ink now. So yeah, this is like the real features of Sapphire, right? You can even see the sheen in Tangerine, but it's not that pronounced. But that's why Sapphire is popular. You get those light undertones and then you get that sheen on top. And this looks super, super black on Tomoe River paper. Let me see if it looks bluer on any of these other ones. So this is the Rhodia. So Silent Night is mostly black. See, the Sapphire I still think looks cool. And then this is the color ring. I'm still not sure tangerine is dry on this color ring. You can see a little bit of the navy coming through on the silent night, but it's still mostly black. Look at that tangerine. That tangerine has like a gloss on it over here as opposed to a sheen. Makes it look still wet. That's pretty wild. I've never noticed that before. With uh, Being next to Sapphire is not doing any favors. I know, that's actually kind of why I did it. I wanted to put it in between that and uh, blue black to see the, the variants. So yeah, there you go. Um, here's Tomoe. Very black, very dark ink. But you're starting to see some of the character in it now. Pretty cool. All right, let's get 4B on the page um, next to these so we can see what it's like. Um, this is my favorite ink. Um, one of my top inks of all time. Just, it's cool. It's a little bit different than the... Uh, <sighs> Um, like Sailor Blue Black, which like something like Athena Blue Black, right? It's theoretically just the Sailor Blue Black poured into the Athena Morazan bottle. Um, 4B, not so much. Hey Brad, how much tuning smoothing did you do on the spoke nibs? Because the broad I got from you is notably smoother than other out of the box Yobo nibs I've had before. Honestly, not that much. I mean, I definitely checked, visually checked, um, alignment um kind of wrote with them dry just to feel make sure we're good make sure we're all lined up um and i did not over um smooth or or like go overboard on anything i'd still be shipping out nibs so just basic checks and normalcy oh the new platinum 3776 is uh is autumn maple yeah, so we've been sharing those pictures out there. We'll have to find them. We talked about it on a podcast about a month ago. Oh, I'm curious the delay for my Slack inquiry, Slack inquiry to receiving an invite. So, like, I haven't checked my email while we're sitting here. So it might be tonight or tomorrow, something like that. So 4B has the most silly ink things, and I'm just here for it. The little designs are just hilarious. They look like a kid. Uh, yeah, you check in. Go to the Relay.fm and search uh, Platinum 3776 in like the last four or five episodes. We we covered it. Um, big it, big bad blue black. You're close. It's Bungu Box Blue Black. So. We got some hot mess lighting going. Mm -hmm. 
this is one of those times where I just throw my hands up. All right, hang on one second. I gotta. Uh, hopefully, I'm not breaking your screens. Let me adjust something. We went from tornado watch to blazing sunlight in the span of an hour. <clears throat> All right, let me get this stuff out of here. And we'll put it back. Ooh. Uh, Smacking Tony is the appropriate. Gosh, y'all. I wish I was good at lighting. And I would have a very consistent uh, place to work for y'all. Oh, I moved the camera down. That's why. <laughs> okay. Let me get 4B on the page, and then we can talk about some of these a little bit more. Let me scoot this up just for writing purposes. Did we talk about this hat already? This is the uh, Mitchell Batco collab. Um, we got to hang out with Jeremy Mitchell at uh, American Field in Atlanta years ago. And uh, that's when I picked up this hat from him. Super nice guy out of Nashville. Uh, got, I have one of his uh, bats hanging on my wall in the shipping department. A Braves color bat that Jeff got me one year for Christmas. It's excellent. Wow, we are still on the... All these light and dark colors are messing this up. So let's remove some of this for now. <laughs> hmm. One more thing. See if we can at least see these colors correctly. So Bung Box Blue Black is one of those all-timer all -timer ink colors for me. Again, these swabs, I don't know how well they're going to show the color. But this has um, more gray in it, or a good amount of gray, and it has a good amount of sheen. But this sample, oh man, we almost, we almost, uh, we kind of screwed that one up. That might be a, that might be a failure. Let me get all these down here. The final Babs, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you hanging out. FYI, you got to drip down the side of the ball. Thank you. I will get that. I think that's what I did on the tangerine. I got to watch how I do this. Because this bung box blue black doesn't look that special when I do it um, in this dip nib and on these papers. But out of a normal nib, it's pretty great. In your, what did I do? In your Twitch account settings? Oh, can you change your Twitch name? My handwriting, uh, my script is rather interesting. You should see my, yeah, you should like see some of my stuff. Like this is just scratch scratch. Oh. Um, not gonna lie. 
these swabs are not that impressive. Almost messed it up there. For bung buck for a, an ink I rave about. Oh, oh, almost did it again. Like I would look at this and go, really, Brad? That's a blue black that you like so much. And like, yeah, I don't think these are super representative. So we'll look, let me let them dry a little, just for a second, for, and then get the pages back. Just so they're not going everywhere. Let me de-inkify. Yeah, the dip nib is putting down too much ink. That's partly my fault. Give the 4B swatch a smear. Okay, one sec. This is the most Brad sweet of ink colors. <laughs> <laughs> Even Silent Night is too dark for me. So there you go. It's probably what I should have done with all these. So that's why I like Bung Box Blue Black. I probably should have done that for all the colors. Yeah, so I use the uh, shop towels for cleaning pens because they don't have a lot of fibers in them. Like they don't have like stray fibers that get in things. So yeah, I use a roll of shop towels. Let's see, all the other ones are dry. Yeah, this glass, this glass dip nib could write pages and pages, but it's maybe not super great for representing ink colors. Unless I should probably do this for all of them. I should probably get a knife or something because this is what I see, right? When I'm writing, this is what I like to see. So let me do, I wanna do um, Silent Night next to that. So let me get a little drop of that on here. Yeah, I order the shop rags, like you can get like a three pack. Just go to like the automotive store or you can order them from Amazon or something. Get a knife or something, yeah, I'll show you. It's a spreader. Right. This one's not really made for that because I haven't cleaned it. So you take this. We'll get our dip nib just a little bit here. Pop this down. And we'll take this. We'll spread it like that so that's what a knife blade will do for you to give you a range of the true a more true range of colors than just like a big pool of ink is always going to be darker in color you know it's just not going to represent a writing color as much as you know, this is what your nib does on the page, right? Your nib is actually spreading the ink where this dip nib, the ink's just flowing off the tip and I'm kind of guiding where it goes, right? Does that make sense? So this is spreading it with a knife is a little more accurate representation because that's really what your nib is doing on the page itself. So yeah, now you see like Bung, Bung Box Silent Night looks black right here, but you can tell it's dark blue here. And Bung Box Blue Black looks black here, but it's much lighter. I mean much, it's relative. But here's the other reason why I like uh, blue black so much. Look at that red. That's why we like 4B. So that's kind of, this is the correct 4B color right here. But red sheen. Shading greater than sheen, agree. But this doesn't have too much, right? It's subtle and you get shading. And 
and then there's Silent Night. Looks like a bird. Is that a hummingbird? I think I made a hummingbird. So yeah, there you go. Maybe I'll just do knife swabs. Maybe knife swabs are the play instead of dip nibs, right? Because we want to see what the color looks like when we're writing with it, not necessarily what it looks like when I'm putting a flood of ink on the page. I'll think about it. Maybe I'll knife swab my uh, my little my little swab there. Swordfish, raven, dolphin. Yeah. So I'll do the knife swap. I'll lay this down right here and it's always so wet and then I'll just run the knife on it like like here or my finger. Like I just used to do this with my finger. But that might get contaminated. The, the the knife I can at least clean off between um to make sure it's not changing color. That shouldn't be there. Yeah, both. Both is the answer. Oh. I almost spilled my water. Why not put a fountain pen nib in a nib holder? Because I don't want to have to clean the feed before dipping it every time if I'm using multiple bottles. I have one. Like, I have a nib holder that will hold a fountain pen nib, and it's got a feed on it. And I just don't want to have to ensure that that's clean while I'm doing this. It's just a little bit easier to do kind of the bulk stuff. We'll see. And plus, I can't get it as wide. Right, like the widest nib I have for that is a medium. So. Just a holder without a feed? Yeah, I could do that. And then it's, I, I feel that that's still pretty close to like the dip nib. Yeah, I have. so I have something like that, Patrick. I'll bring it in here next time. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, like an artist nib holder. Yeah, just like a dip, like a regular like comic nib, dip nib. Yeah, I've got some of those too. <clears throat> that would be a good idea. Basic holder without a feed and works great with a Yovo. Cool. Yeah, that's exactly what I have head full of ideas is a SD holder from Sean Newton. That's 100% what I have, <laughs> what I was referring to. So, but it has a feed on it. So, like, it's great for me doing samples. It's be kind of, I don't know. I don't know if it would be frustrating. We can test it on here. But, yeah, I think I would rather just put more ink down with the dip nib and then just spread it with the blade just so we get this right this is all i'm trying to get like what does this tell you on camera this doesn't tell you a lot that has more information in it that has more information in it right did you order one of those expensive metal dip nibs no <laughs> i will i one of these years i'll get one i i'm not in a hurry they're 300 dollars for basically a pilot high tech c 0.5 dip nib I mean, that sounds pretty cool to me. I just don't know that I want to, I, I just haven't done it yet. We'll, I'll do it one day for sure. All right. So now comes the fun part. Tyler stealing my dip nib over here. Tyler, Tyler snuck in here because he's at school today. And uh, so he's now making me nervous with my dip nib, my cleaning water, and all my ink over here on the side of the thing. Um, so now comes the fun part of the show that you're all here for. Um, how about we give away everything but blue black? How does that sound? That sounds like a scribble pen invention, Mar. I'm not withholding 4B, I'm using 4B. That's my ink. Y'all can have the rest of them. <laughs> y'all I, I, y'all get three, I get one. That seems fair to me. You get these. 
I get this one. That's a deal. That's a deal to me. Like, I have too much ink. I love these. These are like some of the coolest, awesomest inks, most expensive inks you can have. But if I don't use them, what good are they? Right? It's that color. Which one? This one? Mm -hmm. This 4B. All right, so let's switch this up. All right, we're back to my head. <clears throat> so, what? Not yet. So, yeah. I mean, I can give y'all Tangerine, Sapphire, and Silent Night, and I can keep Blue Black. I'm pretty good with that setup, if you ask me. All right, so let me, uh, let me clean up a little bit here. to have oh so tyler's over here talking he's got my dip nib in his hand and he got a folded nib from hey matthew that he likes to use so maybe i should that's what i should bring in here is sure, the folded nib oh except he can't find it it's in your room somewhere no it isn't where is it yeah so um <sighs> so yeah the folded nib might be a good a good ink sampling nib. So I'll help Tyler see if he can find that folded nib for me. Maybe I can buy it off of him. It can go towards his debt. So what do we think about that, Tyler? So I guess you better find it. I will give you $10 for it. No, 20. No. Okay, that's it. You're not going to sell it to me for $20? No. Can I borrow it? Yes. Okay. He doesn't even know where it is, but he won't sell it to me. It's pretty funny. Um, all right, so what are we doing first? I can't see these colors, so we're going to do whatever's on the top here. Tangerine. Tangerine's going first. You want to know why? Why? Because you will never use it except for once, and it'll be stored in that closet. <laughs> that closet it'll be stored in that closet he knows that's where the closet of doom is it'll be stored in that closet that's not true i can uh i can do that here like i would use it here because that's how i was making those spreads i was using my knife blade well that dip nib would work pretty well for that he's all right i'll just order my own folded nib tyler's trying to run a game on me all right let's give tangerine away uh, buh, 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 giveaway. Maybe that's what you should use your channel points for. You can enter it. You know your channel. Well, people can enter it for free. I don't want people to overrun the giveaways. I want the giveaways to be equitable. Even without it is mm -hmm. Alright, so this is for Bung Box Tangerine. This bottle, I've used these some. You saw how full these are. These are like 80 to 90% full easily. That's one of my favorite pencils. I use that to uh, design with like when I'm drawing pen cases because I can mark like insides and outsides in different colors. Tyler's looking at my two-tone, like my CW Pencils editor, which is uh, graphite on one side, red on the other. Are these all your pencils? All? No. Yeah, are these all my pencils? Uh, I think there's one single pen in there that I served in there the other day because I was doing something. Yeah, I don't think I like that one that much. It's, odd. it's the Rhodia Triangle pencil. Tyler says, ooh, that's weird. And I've never gotten along with this pencil. I like I I, I don't mind the black, but for some reason it just I don't know. This doesn't hit right for me. I've never really gotten into that one. Like it's like a triangle right here, too. Yeah. It's weird. Alright. But like this one, I do like. 
Tangerine is ultra mega rare. How much can we sell this bottle of Tangerine for? If you win this, you don't sell it. You can give it to someone though. Or you can sell it to Genie. I don't care. But for a fair price. For a real price, not a not a gouger price. <clears throat> One million dollars. All right, so let's pick a winner. Person that won, Michael West. What's up, Michael West? You all the win all. So reply here, say hello. <laughs> Send me your shipping address to hello at penaddict.com and be expecting contact from Jeannie. All right, let me sticker up the names here. <laughs> All right. See, y'all are actually helping me clean up the closet of doom. All right, we got two colors here. Can't see which ones they are. We're going to go with Silent Night. Because I open boxes. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to do Silent Night next. Yeah, this is not the most efficient way to do this. Does Tyler not watch the stream? I don't know. Do you have this turned on in another room? No. You're killing my view count, man. <laughs> All right, we're going to do Tyler and I. Tyler watches uh, Mike's keyboard streams and Mike Independence's gaming streams. He doesn't watch my stream. Kate, we can work on that. <laughs> we're going to be giving away a lot of ink. We can definitely work on that. All right. Um, let's see what that was. We just heard a bump in the house. Go get, go open that door. It's hot in here. All right, Silent Night raffles open. Just open the door. Call Toby. Toby. It's probably him jumping around. It is demons. I don't know. The wind's as as sunny as it is now. We do still have some of the wind. Um, we're still going to get up to like 30 mile an hour winds. Oh, um, Mike, Independence Mike, wants to know what game he should play on stream today. I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. Still thinking. That game you've been playing... What's that... Um, that PlayStation game you've been playing, that um, Japanese game, that game looked pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, Tyler says Phoenix Immortal. See, he does watch your stream. He knows more than me. Send the kid to check out the demons? I'm trying. You know what? Our demon catcher is out there already. Toby hates people. He hates noises. Mm -hmm he would jump at the chance to attack somebody <laughs> if they were in the... you have a heavy hoodie a blanket and a fireplace man i'm glad you took the day off octopath traveler maybe that's the one i'm thinking of but talek said uh phoenix immortal toby hates people tony hates people yep yeah. but does he hate demons true i don't know he, he probably he hates everybody so i'm gonna go with yes <laughs> toby hates demons <laughs> oh my gosh mm, we have not seen tony and toby in the same room because one of them only one of them would leave and my money's on toby yeah. all right pick winner mickey mickey you have won mickey. Mickey. awesome
say hello here, say sup, and shoot me an email. Yeah, I'm thinking of Octopath, Tyler's thinking of Phoenix, yeah. <laughs> Hey, there he is. All right, email me. Hello at pinac.com with your address. Even though you think I have it, I always say, no, sup. Sup we say kind of mocking the kids kind of say it jokingly. It's mostly pretty terrible. Class, 18 months of sub and thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, Yeah, hello at pinac.com, Mickey. I want emails for any time, even if you are a multiple winner, because that's how I track things. All right. We're on a bruh kick. That one drives me insane so much that I just mock it incessantly. All right. Last ink. Y'all know what this is. I'll, I'll slow roll it for a minute. What? Make y'all wait around. driving me crazy stop what's up all right let me reset this all the raffles what's up then they didn't they redo they redid what's up on super bowl maybe yeah the bra the bras are the one that gets me now actually i like eat i'm down with eat i eat all the wrong things I eat incorrectly, which is my favorite thing to do. All right, bung box sapphire. What's up, 36? Bung box. box. It means like stationary store in Japanese. Uh, bung box sapphire. Poggers doesn't work for me. Pog, Pog Champ, Poggers, none of that works for me. All right. Giveaway. Bungbox Sapphire. You know how to do it. Do that thing. Last bottle of ink for today. Brad, did you ever watch the documentary Nothing Changes? No, it's literally on my watch list. But I, I've been so busy, I haven't been watching TV, reading, uh, anything. I have not. But it is literally, I can probably show you my list that I keep. Movies, The Painter and the Thief, and Hank. Boom. So those are the two movies on my list. <laughs> What's that movie that we watched that one night? Anyone got a clue? That's Tyler's question to me right now. Anyone have a clue? The movie we watched with the guy who ran? Is that narrowing it down? Forrest Gump. Oh, I know exactly what he's talking about. I can't believe I actually got it from this. <laughs> the Born Identity. <laughs> it's Jason Bourne running. <laughs> not, not a runner, just a guy running. That's what you mean, right? Yeah. We only watched that because it was on TV one night. <laughs> In fact, Born Identity is just one of those you put on the background because you've seen too much of it. Um, but it's always good to just have there. But Tyler's never seen it, of course. Uh, so we just threw it on and uh, yeah, the guy who run that actually totally works for born in all the born series, the guy who runs, I'd say that's accurate, right? Mm -hmm. 
he's a good runner in those in those films they i think they speed him i think they speed him up like the flash <laughs> no way matt damon runs that fast all right let's pick a winner tessa murphy 78 let's go it's almost like it's almost as good as getting your hippo noto as winning bung box sapphire inc That whole movie is him running? Yeah, totally. I can't believe that's what Tyler took from that movie. Is, you know, the one with the guy running. <laughs> I'm still dying over that one. All right, let me write Tessa's name on here. Tessa, you alive out there? Hello, hello. Yeah. Email me your address. Wait a year to send it. <laughs> it's not out of the realm of possibility, knowing me. Only a year? <laughs> oh, that's classic. Oh, by the way, on Tuesday, when we did giveaways, I said I hadn't shipped last week's stuff. Duty Kong. Thank you for the follow. Um, I got every thing that I owed out on Wednesday. So all of last week's Twitch giveaways and Tuesday's Twitch giveaways, I gave um, anyone. I don't think we're running any cold weather risk shipping these inks right now, right? So I think we're good to ship. Um I don't know, Mickey, I'm trying to recall your location. Um, if anyone wants me to hold their inks, Mickey, uh, Michael West, Tessa, I know you don't want me to hold their inks. Um, Brad, throw a Hippo Noto in there. What size? What size? Was this the B6 reward, Tessa? Were you in the B6, the B6 batch? Tell me, because I'm totally doing it. That's a great idea, Stephanie. That's a scale. Got a notification for the sketchbook shipping. See you, Galantium. I shipped yours out, your notebook out. Tessa, what did you order from Hippo Noto? B6? Cool. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Mickey. Still haven't got my A5 Hippo Noto, Christ. Yeah, that's insane. That is insane. All right. Um, anything else we need to talk about? What else do you want to talk about? I'm in no rush, but I do have Tyler in here. So? You smell. You haven't taken a shower. <laughs> Tyler is the playingest in the creek kid ever, and I love it. Explain the hat for people that came in late. It is uh, Mitchell Bat Company. Um, friend, friend of the show, Jeremy Mitchell out of Nashville, runs a place called uh, Mitchell Bat Company where he manufactures bats, but as like art slash collector pieces. So like he does team painting bats. Like I have an Atlanta Braves bat. I'm going to, uh, let's bring that up. Tyler, what was your favorite ink color? I shared today. Do you need to look at them again? Chat wants to know. Pick your favorite. There's only four. I think he liked 4B. Like this favorite? Love it as long as the phone stays out of the creek. Damn. You just got crapped on. Right out in chat. Oof. Sweet. So... Blue, black. Tyler does like blue, black. 
So yeah, that's uh. Whoa, what did I do? So yeah, that's what Jeremy Mitchell does. So like, I have one of these striped ones for the Braves, and um. It's cool. He's gotten to go to like. He gets to go to like the All Star Game every year and like gets to hand out bats to like the players. It's pretty cool. It's been a neat business to follow. So he does cool stuff. So yeah. So he was at a show that we did with Knock in Atlanta one year. Um, so like it's like this one, but mine is the Ebbets Field flannel version of that. So yeah, there you go. And um, so I just I bought it from him at the at the show. They are snazzy. So Jeff bought me a Braves one for Christmas years and years and years ago. It's great. Is it fitted? No. These are the snapback, um, like the Musgrave. This is the exact hat as the Musgrave from Ebbets, like the forty-five fifty dollar one. So it's the snapback Ebbets, like with the satin. You know, it's got the satin thing here under deal. It's exactly like the Musgrave. So it's the it's the kind of hat I want to get made for the pin addict. I hope so. One day. Maybe this year. Dave is judging you hard right now because it's a snapback. That's it's the only version they make. I think the minimum orders are too big for fitteds. I usually I wear tons of fitteds. Actually, Tyler, Dave, you'll be proud. Tyler this morning said, I want you to measure my head. And I knew exactly what he meant. <laughs> that was not a weird conversation. <laughs> I want you to measure my head. Big brains, man. Big brains gotta get their heads measured. Measured. You just don't like to wear them. No one is proficient in slack, genie. I'm the least proficient. I do like the Tombow Evitz Field. Yeah, I will eventually get that one. Hmm. Oh, so Tyler wants a Nashville Sounds hat, but I haven't seen which logo. They have a bunch of cool logos. That Princeton one is cool. But yeah, like the, the minimums for me to do a snapback Ebbets was like 50 units, which I could do. And that's probably all I would need to do. Like they wouldn't sell that much because they're exp not everyone likes hats. And these are very expensive, like for what they are. I mean, not for what they are, but you know, they're just expensive relative to other hats. You know what other one I like? Hmm. The Daytona Pachuca one. Oh, well, that one's cool. Yeah, I'd move 50 easily. I just got to um, decide on the design. Because I could get gray. Gray flannel um, with like orange stitching and stuff. It would be sick. It's just one of those things I just need to spend the time to do. But I'll totally do it. Because I want it. Again, I want, I want the thing. I did... Oh, I did... Um, for those of you who saw refill last week the Panatic members newsletter um i got my musgrave mock-up i'll share this weekend it's gonna be cool very happy with that so thanks for the help in getting me uh to to the right pencil so we'll have those i don't know i gotta pay for them but they're gonna be in production soon so yeah all right i think that's it for today chat um what are we going to do the rest of the day? Play pickleball. Mm -hmm. Tyler's going to play pickleball. I'm going to work on email. I'm almost done with Kickstarter. I think I have like less than 50 packages left. Tyler's not going to ship packages today. I wanted that other pen in refill to be Ebonite. We might do that eventually. That is such a weird pen. I don't know if everyone would like it. Like it's already like one of the most expensive pens ever. You know, and then the uh, ebonite, it's almost like you gotta, you, I really want people to try the ebonite before they buy it. I love it. It's amazing. And other people who have them have reached out to me saying how much they love them. But that's a really, really hard ask for such a different pen. Like you get more of a 
understanding of what you're getting with the aluminums and stainless steels in the beginning but it's not out of the realm of possibility so we'll think of that because we, we could do a cool orange swirl the ebonite one is really cool really cool torchlight 3 is on game pass that's a cool game all right mike ink dependence mike at noon today what are the feeds on the spoke fountain pens made of plastic just your standard yovo feeds because that'd be like another ebonite i don't even know if yovo does ebonite feeds if they do it'd be like a lot more per pen all right we can keep going i'll think i'll save it for next week i'm gonna go get some things done um i, I really appreciate y'all hanging out today fun stream good chit chatter thanks for allowing me to get rid of some of my inks one of these days i'm gonna test something out on here and not give it away i just want y'all to be prepared for that like everything like if i do a nakaya stream i'm not giving one of those away i almost did a nakaya stream today so uh be prepared for me to always give something away but maybe not the thing i'm looking at <laughs> all right love y'all bye <laughs>